is up, everybody? Matt here, back again with another video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the soundtrack to the iconic film, Labyrinth. Before the vinyl craze really took off, and before I really got into it, I remember one event that, like, stayed with me for a very long time. And that event was, I went to a vintage stock, and they had a copy of the original soundtrack. Not a reprint, not a reissue, not, no, the unoriginal copy. They had it on display, and I looked at it, and I go, huh, that's interesting, and I walked out of the store. Uh, ever since that moment, until they did the reissue of it last year, I was just kicking myself, because I was just like, how could I be so stupid to let that go, you know? It's, it's like they say in the movie, it's not fair, but that's just the way it is. Uh, so, uh, the film needs no introduction. I really don't need to say much about the film. Uh, it's a classic movie. Uh, of the 80s and a fantasy and science fiction and a lot of other things uh, associated with it. Um, it came from the minds of Jim Henson, David Bowie, uh, Lucasfilm, Terry Jones, who uh, worked on Monty Python, and all the talented people at uh, the Henson Studios who created these amazing puppets and sets and uh, 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 you know, uh, optical illusions and, and all kinds of crazy things they came up with in the film. If you haven't seen it, I mean, stop this video right now and go watch it, because it's an amazing, amazing film. The soundtrack itself features songs by David Bowie, as well as score selections by Trevor Jones. Bowie got involved with the film after seeing clips from the previous Henson feature, which was The Dark Crystal. The production knew they wanted a musician to play the Goblin King, so they actually considered, outside of Bowie, a couple other people, they considered Mick Jagger, Sting, Prince, and even Michael Jackson, and thankfully they decided on Bowie. Um, but it's interesting to think of what those artists would have done with the music, you know, I think that would have been pretty interesting, at least to see in a what-if universe, but there's really no one else who could have played that character other than David Bowie. The album was recorded between July and September of 1985, and it was released a couple days after the film was in 1986. Uh, Bowie's tracks were uh, two cuts of the track Underground, Magic Dance, Chili Down, As the World Falls Down, and Within You. The score is done by Trevor Jones, who gets the remaining six tracks on the album. And what I like what they do is they go Bowie song, score, Bowie score, Bowie score, Bowie score. So it's arranged in a really cool way, that you get an equal parts, amazing score by Trevor Jones, and the songs by David Bowie. Jones is a prolific composer, he's done a ton of film scores, uh, he had just previously worked with Jim Henson on the Dark Crystal film. And uh, he's done the scores for Runaway Train, the Merlin TV miniseries, Excalibur, Last of the Mohicans, and two of my favorite films, Time Bandits and Arachnophobia. Underground was released as a single along with Magic Dance. Underground features backup vocals by Chaka Khan and Luther Vandross, and it features amazing guitar work by Albert Collins, the master of the Telecaster. Steve Barron directed the music video for Underground, and Jim Henson and his son were so impressed by it that when they were working on the Storyteller uh, TV series, they gave him the job of directing the pilot. They were really impressed by it. Unfortunately, Bowie wasn't impressed by it and considered it one of his weakest music videos. Magic Dance was the second single released. Uh, the line about hoodoo, voodoo, you do, remind me of the babe, uh, that's from a old Cary Grant Shirley Temple movie called The Bachelor and the Bobby Soxer. So, pretty cool where that comes from. The baby wouldn't make any noises when they were recording the song, so anytime you hear the baby on the track, it's David Bowie. As the World Falls Down was also going to be released as a single, but they decided not to do it. Whether this was due to the poor release of the film, or Bowie not wanting it to be released remains to be seen. As the World Falls Down is probably my favorite track off the whole soundtrack. I, I think it's absolutely beautiful, both Bowie's version, and there's a version done by a group called the Vitamin String Quartet. I'm actually going to include a link to it down in the uh, description here. Uh, they did an amazing cover of it, and uh, that was actually used in my wedding, so there you go. Pretty cool. Um, our last song at the wedding was actually Magic Dance, so very cool too. This album was really a white whale for me, you know. Uh, I looked for it, Holly looked for it, it, it was rare then, it's rare now. It was just impossible that you were ever going to get it. And then they did the reissue, and oh, thank goodness they did the reissue, uh, because now it's available, anybody can get it, they have the vinyl issue, they have the MP3, CD, I mean, it's it's readily available now, as it should be, you know, because the music is fantastic, it's a great film, and, uh, you know, everybody kind of has their own experiences with it, and I think that's what makes it such a unique, cool thing. That was something uh, Derek uh, touched on 
uh, in the video that he was in uh, a, a couple weeks ago, that everybody has their own experiences with this film. And that's what makes it so special. You know, everybody has, you know, a, a deep connection with either the music or the film or the story or the design or this or that. And uh, it's important uh, to a lot of people. So what I would like you guys to do is that if you have a special connection to this particular film, something you really liked, something you, you remember from it, go ahead and mention it in the comments below. I always like seeing your guys' comments and things like that. And uh, get the soundtrack, you know, should you need it. Uh, which everybody should need it, go ahead and pick it up. Um, and, and just as well, guys, I want to thank you so much for helping me reach 92 subscribers uh, for all the views on all the videos, you know, and that's, it's been really cool. I've been doing this for about a year. Very happy to be doing it, to, uh, to uh, know that there are other people out there that share the same passions that I do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, you guys keep watching, I'll keep, I'll keep making videos, so thank you again, thank you very much, and uh, as always, I will see you guys next time.